Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. For today's tutorial, I will be showcasing on how to play MAME arcade games on your PS3 via with RetroArch. With that being stated as well, please be sure to follow my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel. And if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form, you can feel free to donate via my PayPal. I'll have a link in the description below. And as well, you can just type in the URL bar that is shown on to the screen and donate that way. Of course, that is purely optional. But with that getting stated and set out the way, we could go ahead and focus on the things you need and prerequisites you'll need for this video. And of course, any uh, links and downloads I will have in a link in the description below for any items I use. Of course, first things first, you need a modded PlayStation 3 that is on custom firmware. As well, you need a USB stick that is formatted to FAT32. It doesn't matter if it's a USB 2.0 or 3.0. Um, as well, you need the latest version of RetroArch for the PS3. And depending on if you're on Kex or Dex, make sure you choose the right one and i'll have a link in the description below that directs you both to kex or dex depending on how your ps3 is formatted um as well you need your of course your game so mame 2003 0.78 roms i won't have a link in the description for that you could just use google and you need the latest version of multiman and this is just optional but if you want to transfer your files via what files on the ftp client that's your choice but in this video i'm just going to be using my usb for most of the installation to showcase um just some tips and reminders i want to state as well you can also play your main 2003 roms um off your usb so you don't have to transfer them to basically dev underscore hcd which is aka your hard drive so if you just want to put all your roms on your usb and you just want to have something dedicated for it um you could also do that as well but in this video i'll showcase on how to basically um copy the games over to your dev hcd and as well on how to copy them just you know playing it from your usb and last but not least i just want to give a special thanks out to team rebug for developing you know the rebug custom firmware i just want to give you know shout out to dank for um developing multiman as well and i just want to give a credit out to libretro or aka retroarch for you know developing retroarch with that being said out the way i'm gonna meet y'all guys in the next video Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, what we could do now is go ahead and get started on the PC portion of this tutorial. So as shown here, we have our RetroArch version for PS3 that's on Kex. I also have a link in the description below for the Dex version. It's on the same website. So if you're on a Dex PS3, go ahead and download the Dex one. If you're on a Kex, aka Retail PS3, um, you could go ahead and download the Kex one. As well, I have my main games all into one folder right here, which I do suggest y'all guys doing. So if you get your games wherever you have them from just go ahead and put all your games in one folder as shown here and then also we have the latest version of multiman that does work with 4.84 uh rebug as well and anything pretty much lower and this is what we're going to do to actually install our games of course if you're going to use files of the ftp client you could go ahead and use rebug or multiman so you know transfer files that way but since i'm doing this via with a usb that's the method i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to do but what we need to do now is go ahead and find our usb USB drive so here's my USB drive here and one thing we need to make sure before we start transferring files over is to make sure that our system format is to FAT32 the way we could do that is go ahead and right click over our USB drive go into properties and then your file system should stay that's on FAT32 now let's say for example if it's on you know for let me think like uh, XFAT or NTFS you're gonna have to change it so as shown right here right now what I'm going to do is basically reformat my USB drive. Um, make sure if you have any important files or documents just to back it up to another USB drive or your desktop for the time being. But um, since this uh, USB drive is like something I just use on not on a daily basis, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys on how to reformat it. So all you would have to do is right click over your drive, go into format and then file system. If it's on NTFS or XFAT, just go ahead and hit FAT32. 
um, for your allocation unit size it doesn't matter you can put it to default allocation size for your volume label this is what you can label your USB drive as um, you could just name it anything the only reason why I have find uh, names to Sony is due to I was doing stuff with the PlayStation Classic and make sure you have this toggled on and check mark that it's on quick format and then you go ahead and hit start for that process then you will get another uh, window that will pop up on Windows 10 stating that formatting will erase all data on the disk just go ahead and hit OK and it's basically just reformatting your USB drive as normal and it shouldn't take too long and then once the process is fully finished as well you'll get this another window on the screen saying that the format has been completed so we're just going to go ahead and hit OK and then I'm going to go ahead and back out go to my file explore, explore excuse me and then from here we're going to go ahead and find our USB drive so here's my USB drive shown here and now if we go back into properties it should state that it's on FAT32 if you are on another file system now what we need to do is very simple we just got to drag and drop our files over from our desktop to the root of the USB drive so I'm going to go ahead and take my retro Arc my games and also Multiman and just drag and drop via from here and what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and pause the video since I doubt that y'all guys want to see basically uh, basically for all the files to be transferring over. So I'm going to pause the video here. Once it's done, I'm going to go back onto the desktop, explain a little bit more stuff. And then we're going to go to the PS3 and get all these items installed. So I'll meet you guys once that process has fully finished. A few moments later. All right here basically all of my files successfully transferred over to my USB what we need to do now is go ahead and just hit this button right here and then we need to safely eject our USB out from our PC so here's mine right here and then what we do now is go ahead and go back onto our PlayStation 3 and get all of our packages installed and also install our games via with RetroArch so I'll meet you guys back onto the PlayStation 3 All right, guys, so we're back onto the PlayStation 3 as shown here. What we need to do is go ahead and plug in our USB into whatever slot on your PlayStation 3. And what we have to do is go ahead into Package Manager and we got to install our packages. So we need to go ahead and hit on the second option right here. Go into Standard via right now and we should see all of our files of choice. So I already have Multi Man installed, so I don't, I'm basically not going to install that for this uh, video, but I am going to go ahead and install RetroArch via right now. And and basically what you want to do is go ahead and install both packages so they could pop up onto your X and B but what I'm gonna do now is just pause the video right here and I don't want y'all guys to you know watch the whole installation because that's pretty boring so I'm gonna go ahead and wait till that's done and then showcase on the next step alrighty guys so as shown here RetroArch has successfully installed on my PlayStation 3. What we need to do now is either one or two options depending on, you know, your preference or choice. So either the first thing we could just go ahead and boot into RetroArch to just play our games off our USB drive. But I also want to teach you guys a second method on just basically copying your games via to your PS3. And then, you know, just playing your games off your PlayStation 3's hard drive so you won't have to have the USB in. So with that method, the second method I just told you, we need to go ahead and boot into multi man so assuming that you guys installed that along with RetroArch right now we just got to go ahead and boot into that process alrighty guys so shown here as well we're basically right into RetroArch not excuse me not RetroArch but multi man and what we need to do now is scroll all the way to the left and go into file manager slash multi man operating system then what we need to do here is go into our ps3 root scroll all the way from here and then we need to open up dev underscore usb 00 you guys may say dev underscore usb 001 and now you should see your contents on your usb drive that was on the root that we just copied over from our pc so here's our main arcade games as shown here all in one folder what we need to do now is go ahead and just hit x press circle and then copy this folder what we could do now is go ahead and hit x right here go back into our ps3 root folder scroll all the way down to dev underscore hdd0 and then from here we could go ahead and just place it right on the root of this folder as well and this from here retroarch could scan this uh, folder aka your hard drive and then we could play our main games from here so by just pasting this right here by hitting circle and then hitting yes now what's going to do is basically is going to paste all of our games into this directory so 
in order for basically you know retroarch to find our games if you want to run your games off the playstation 3's hard drive so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and pause the video via right here and then cut this part out since it's going to take a quite a while for it to basically load via that way and then once that process is done we're going to go ahead and run retroarch and then we're going to play our main games via you know on our playstation 3 so meet you guys once that process is finished All right guys, so as shown here, basically all of my games via from MAME has successfully installed via my dev underscore HDD zero. So what we need to do now is just go ahead and back out of Multiman. So we just do that by just holding down the PlayStation 3 button of course, and it's just going ahead and quitting out the game. Alrighty guys, so as shown here right now, we're basically right back onto the XMB once you quit it out of Multiman. What we need to do now is just go ahead and boot up RetroArch and now we could go ahead and start playing our game. Alright guys, so as shown here, we basically are in RetroArch and it does look very similar as basically to um, the PlayStation 3's UI with the XMB. But the easiest way on how to do this is very simple. So what we need to do first is go ahead and just go to the fourth option here where it just says load content. Scroll all the way down and remember where we just put our main games at which was in dev underscore HDD0. So all we have to do is just click on that one right here, that folder, and now we could go ahead and search for all of our main games of choice. And as well, we could go ahead and just attempt to run one. So what we need to do is just go ahead and load archive and then choose our arcade. So we have arcade name 2003. And then what will happen now is it may take a little while for the game to boot up via for the PS3. But what should happen is basically you could play your game of choice. So as shown here, this is the game in real time. And you know, if you hold down the uh, start button on your PS3, you can, you know, change some of the game's features and stuff like that. And then you can kind of take off the menu as well. But just to showcase, you can run your games off your USB right now. If you go ahead and hold down, I think R3 and L3, what you could do is go ahead and you could close it out of your game from that menu. You could change some other settings like uh, volume and what else and other just generic uh, emulation settings. What we could also do is go into load content as well. And then we should scan for our USB drive. So dev underscore USB zero zero. This is where also our main arcade games are located at as well. I'm just going to go ahead and choose 1942. And then if I go scroll all the way down to main 2003. Um, what will happen is basically the game is still going to load up via with this emulator. So it may take a little second right here, but what will happen is um, you can run your games via from your USB drive, which is a pretty cool feat to, you know, do this method via that way. So as shown here, here is 1942. I'm not sure if 1943 or four. yeah. So this is 1942 playing via from my USB, and this is exactly the end of the tutorial. So if you guys have any more questions, please be sure to feel free to comment down below if you need any help. And make sure I have a link to my Discord as well. That's where usually I can help people at via there. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. And my name is Nagato, and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. He's smooth.